The song Famous For by Torrin Wells from its album Citizen of Heaven is uh, is more than just a fun album cover. <laughs> it's a uh, it's a really it's a really cool song. Um, the there's a lot going on to the studio version. There's a lot of electric guitars happening and they're all kind of filling in this space, creating movement in the song. And so what we're going to do is we're going to utilize our delays and just really kind of build the song throughout. Every little part changes, adding more to the dynamic of the song. The acoustic guitar is going to be uh, capoed on the third fret, I believe. <laughs> um, the song is in B flat, so yes, the third fret. And uh, the electric guitar is not, um, but our acoustic guitar even gets to do quite a bit of like finger picking and just kind of texture adding as well. So go ahead and tune up, watch the music video, and let's get started. Intro, verse one, and then the second kind of half of verse one are all the same idea. They just kind of build on each other. And it's, the basic idea is going to sound like this. That's the main idea, just following the chords. And then we're making some adjustments. So I'm going to turn off my delay effects so we can really hear what's going on. And we're going to start out um, just kind of here. And you're essentially following your chord shapes. Your pinky is on the B string here. Your pointer finger is on the, on the A. And we're going to be plucking with our thumb and our ring finger here. So we're going one, two, three, and a four. So we start that slide up to 10. Where I'm, and then take over with our pinky on the 11. So two, three, and a four, and... And then we land on one, two, three, four. So same shape as this, just up higher. Once again, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four again. And two and three and four and one, two, three, four. So that's our intro. Then our verse kind of follows the same thing. It does the same thing twice and then we add. So we start out by again, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Third one goes two, three. So instead of sliding up to this note, we actually slide up to the 11th, or sorry, 13th fret, with our pinky on the 15th of the B but then land back at that same spot. So again, one and two and three and a four and one, two, three, four. And then we finish by dropping this back. One and two and three and four and one, two, three, four. So once again, these two together, one and two and three and four. So your middle finger takes over on the B, back to your A and then back up. So one more time, Part one of the verse goes one and two and three and four and one, two, three, four, two, two, three and four and one, two, three, four. Third time we slide up. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four and one, two, three, four. Now the next part, same idea, but it brings in another guitar now. If we're playing as our only guitar, we're going to bring in those main notes as well. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add, we're going to stay in this position, but now our middle finger is going to go to the seventh fret of the G and we're going to pluck all three of those strings. So one, two, three, and four, that stays the same, but then when we drop back, 
We can make the same shape, but now our ring finger plays on the tenth of the D. So we have to now pluck the A, D, and B string. So again, one and two and three and four and one, two, three, again. One and two and three and four and one, two, three. And third time does the same thing as before. Two, three, and four and one, two, three, four, and then same ending. Well, actually, same ending with two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. So you have the intro, you have the first part of the verse, and then the second. And so what I did is I gave you a loop, or I gave you tabs of the verse. Um, yeah, the whole verse. So you really get that whole thing through, as well as the loops for the same thing. Intro, like I said, is just the same thing as the you know first couple of the verse. So don't worry about that. I gave you materials to practice those two pieces together. Give that a shot and let's go on to that first chorus. Two and three and four and... Four. 